Hello and welcome to my channel, Sparkle Out with John here. I wanted to come on here and make a video. And um, it's been maybe a week or so. And I wanted to share some things. Um, I'm working on my, I'm working on editing uh, my poetry book, and, um, but I wanted to, uh, read a few poems on, on there, so, um, you know, from there, so, um, I'm just gonna pause this. Hi. So, I took, um, two creative writing and poetry classes at Landmark College and um, it was very transformational and um, I got to experience life and um, you know use my creative energy in, um, in this way in writing poems. This was on the spot poem and I'll just share a little bit before I read the poem. So we were in a bookstore and um, if you've ever been to Vermont or if you've um, you know been to a bookstore um, well especially Vermont um, you'll, you, you'll feel like that country you know that um, that openness um, even, I think just in maybe every bookstore, but, um, I overheard, you know, so, like, our class, we, we sat in at the bookstore, and it was a really cool experience, um, because we just chose a spot wherever in the bookstore in Putney, Vermont, and, um, we just started doing an on-the-spot poem, and that was a really cool idea, and, um, I had some really cool teachers. Um, Leslie was one of my teachers, um, and Marisha Gordon. Um, okay, here's the on the spot poem. A woman's soft, soft, exciting voice. She shrieks her thought of Johnny Depp. She rides her horse with the feeling of knitting with him. She is an excitable woman with colors of pure literature. She wears earth tones to cover her bones. She walks past poetry students with her ears on. Walks back and forth in her mind. The books brighten faces and sadden faces. The books of sorrow and human life. She knows happiness. It's not all about living moment to moment. Maybe that's like a paradox. I don't know. But um, I, I really like that poem, and I, I've a few friends um, really like that poem. So this is what it looks like. And then this is kind of like, you know, just um, being vulnerable and doodling and I'm going to read this poem. Writing has really helped me a lot, and I hope that it helps you, and, uh, so, here it goes. It doesn't really have a title right now. My mere existence is an excuse, an introvert posed to be independent and live in solitude. I will stroke my shoulders gently because no one will. 
I touch my own skin and smile and cry and wonder why I don't seem to keep friends. I'm trapped inside my body. It feels I, st I stay awake so that I can be numb the next day and sleep when I get off work. But then if I do not sleep at night, it just doesn't seem right. I meet people and I mis make assumptions too fast for my own good. We are not friends. Oh, I see how it is. It's become a trend to be offbeat and quirky and wear converse while we converse about how much you love your new handbag. It's completely depressing, I know, but if I don't feel, I can't resist. If I don't feel, then I will not call myself re and then